John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I'm a consumer credit expert. I've been in the credit industry for almost 30 years. Spent time at both Equifax, which is one of the credit reporting agencies, and FICO, which is the company that invented the FICO credit scoring system. So this topic for today's video actually comes from a comment um, that's posted at the bottom of the videos. And so again, if you have questions that you want me to answer, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if it's a, if it's a question that I think is a really good one, that we get a lot that warrants uh, you know, its own video, then we'll crank one out like I'm doing today. And so this one actually comes from a viewer who states that she is stuck with credit scores around 670. She actually used the word average. So I'm just gonna say around 670, and she's looking for ways to, to kind of get her scores um, over the hump, if you will, and into the 700s. So really good question. Uh, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. Number one is you can use some of the relatively new services that are available in the market where you can add what's referred to as alternative credit information to your credit reports. And this information is scored information. And to the extent that you're, that you're doing well with, that, with those obligations, then it's quite possible that that could lead to, lead to a higher score and then get you those points that you've been looking for. So there's actually two of them that we're gonna talk about. One is, is Boost, which is an Experian only product, meaning that um, when you use Boost, it's only gonna add information to your Experian credit report, not to your credit reports at TransUnion or Equifax. So unless you don't have a television or don't watch anything on YouTube, you probably have seen the advertisements for Boost. And so what you have the ability to do through Boost, which is free by the way, is you can add things like your Netflix, some of your, your utility accounts, um, as long as you're making these payments on a monthly basis through your checking or an, a bank account, uh, you can actually have those added to your Experian credit report. And it's a possibility that that will lead to a boost in your credit score. And so I, I'll, I'll tell you my personal example. I had my power bill and my water bill added to my Experian credit report and my, my score went up six points. And so, and I already had a good score. So that's, it was actually kind of a pleasant little six point uh, increase in my score. TransUnion has an option. There's a company called eCredible and they have a product called Lyft. And this is not free. There is a, I think it's $19.99 per year. So it's not, I mean, it's almost immaterial amount of money relative to what you could actually save by having a higher credit score. This is a TransUnion only uh, option. So this isn't gonna help your Experian or your Equifax credit reports or any scores based off of those credit reports. So eCredible is TransUnion only. Again, you can have utility style accounts, phone, um, satellite, stuff like that added to your TransUnion credit report. And to the extent that you're managing them properly, then that could result in a higher credit score based on your TransUnion credit report. So I think there's a couple of things that we need to clarify here because I see a whole lot of garbage on the internet and in Twitter about the scores that are being utilized in the lending environment. There are two generally used scores in consumer lending, FICO and Manage Score. These upgrades, if you will, to your credit report, so the addition of information boost, the additional information through Lyft to your TransUnion report will help all of your credit scores that consider utility style information. That is gonna be any contemporary credit score that is being used by lenders today. One of the exceptions is mortgage lenders because mortgage lenders are forced to use really, really old credit scores that are almost two decades old, frankly. That's not because of anything that the credit bureaus or FICO is doing. That's because of um, the housing agency mandate that these old scores continue to be used. So don't even get me started on that mess. But to the extent that your lenders are using, you know, credit scores that were built in the past 20 years, which I can guarantee you they all are except for your mortgage lender, then you will likely see an increase in FICO credit score, Vantage score credit score by trying these types of credit building options. They're not score building options, they're credit building options. Not only are you building and improving your credit report, 
but the byproduct of doing so is a higher credit score, which is, you know, not a bad deal. So these are some of the score, credit building options that you can use to get you from 670s to over 700. There's another way of doing this. When you're pulling your credit scores, regardless of where you're getting them, you can be getting them from, you know, free websites. You can be buying them from certain websites. You can be buying them from FICO's website. You can be getting them from your credit card issuer, which, I mean, there are literally dozens and dozens of credit card issuers and banks that are giving away credit scores to their customers on a monthly basis. So you're probably getting a credit score for free from some place or multiple places. When those scores are calculated, there are also factors that are delivered with the score. It's not just the three digit number. The actual deliverable of a credit score is the three digit number and then factors up to four of them that indicate why that score wasn't higher. So that is a roadmap for you or any particular consumer who's trying to improve a slightly below average credit score like 670 into something that is near average or above average, which is, you know, into the 700s. So a 670 could be something to the effect of balances on credit cards relative to limits are too high, too many inquiries on your credit report in the last 12 months. Um, maybe your credit report is just too young. And so you, you have a lower ceiling as far as how high your score can go if you've got a relatively young credit report. So that just improves with time. Or if you're added to accounts that are really old, then obviously that can help to improve the average of your accounts on your credit report. So these are all, you notice I didn't say anything about making payments on time. That should be a given, right? Everyone should know that you have to make your payments on time in order to keep you know, your scores headed in the right direction. So these are all really good options. Boost, e-credible lift, and then just following the roadmap of score factors that comes with every single credit score that you get, whether it's through a website or you're buying it somewhere or it's through one of your lenders. If you have any other questions like this, again, leave them in the comment section below. I love them. Uh, I get fantastic questions. I get great ideas for these video blogs. And, um, and, and uh, it's, it's, I also see the success stories and that's also very, uh, makes me very happy. That, that so many people are using this information to help to improve their financial life. So it was nice talking to you. We'll talk again soon. Have a great rest of your day. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.